Many of my viewers on this channel are Tesla owners and I love that. Tesla produces one of the best cars in the world and one of its cars is in the space. It's so awesome. However, there is no denying that currently Tesla's autopilot is in trouble. It's gotten more attention than it deserves and it promises more than it offers. Just a month ago, Navigant, a consultant company, published a paper confirming that Tesla's autopilot is not at all an industry leader. It's lagging behind many of its competitors. To be honest, this is not what I expected. You guys know that I'm a very vocal supporter for Tesla. I have said many times on this channel that Tesla has the potential to be one of the biggest companies of the 21st century because of its three capabilities. Its EV market leadership, its reusable energy market leadership, and its excellent autonomous driving capability. However, the last one is not true anymore, is it? So why is this happening? Tesla used to be much better at autonomous driving. When Tesla Autopilot 1.0 came out in 2014, it was so far ahead of its competition that no one thought it was real. Its autopilot videos literally gets viral on YouTube all the time. But it's been four years now. How was the progress? Not much improved, I dare say. Even until now, we're still waiting for the 2018 update. The system experienced a major overhaul in 2016 and the improvements are stagnant to say the least. According to the autonomous driving industry research, Tesla's autonomous driving capability is even lagging behind Apple in the execution axis. This is unacceptable. I mean, Apple doesn't even make a car. So how did it happen? Well, it all started with the very public Tesla Mobileye breakup. Mobileye is an Israeli technology company that develops vision-based advanced driver assistance systems. They provide the hardware and software for Autopilot version 1.0. It is basically the brain behind the wildly successful Autopilot 1.0. However, in 2016, Tesla and Mobileye went through a very ugly breakup over some safety concerns of the Autopilot system. They parted their ways and Tesla Autopilot has been struggling ever since. The reason behind this is complicated, but I'll talk about it briefly. Currently, there are four types of sensors that provide external and immediate information for autonomous vehicles. LiDAR, radar, ultrasonic, and passive visuals including cameras. They have respective strength and weaknesses. However, because Elon does not believe in the necessity of a LiDAR, LiDAR is not used in Tesla cars. And Elon could be right. Three out of four sensors can still manage all the required autonomous driving capabilities. However, Mobileye was the camera provider for Tesla and after it broke up with Tesla, it also stopped providing cameras for Tesla. This is perhaps the root cause of Tesla's struggle. If we combine the capabilities of camera, radar and ultrasonic, they cover all the capabilities needed. But without cameras, as you can see, we have a problem. Tesla did increase the number of cameras installed in the car, but they didn't work as well as the ones Mobileye provided. Not to extrapolate here, the Mobileye breakup is definitely the reason behind Autopilot's unsatisfactory performance. So then the question becomes, how can Tesla fix it? Before I try to answer that, I want you guys to know that this is a million dollar question. If I know the answer to this, Elon will be paying me millions of dollars right now to solve it. So here I just want to lay out certain possibilities that Tesla might want to explore or have already been exploring. Also, if you are a Tesla owner, I hate to break this to you, improving the autopilot is of a lower priority for Tesla right now. 2018 will be dedicated to its manufacturing problems. Tesla will only focus on autopilot next. So remember the cross coast trip Elon has been talking about? I think it's gonna be delayed to 2019. That's my prediction. The first and the easiest way to fix autopilot is to reunite with Mobileye. They have worked with each other before, they know each other's capabilities. Getting back together and work on a new system is an ideal situation for both. But how is it still possible after the ugly breakup, you might ask? There is actually a way to achieve this. Right after Tesla Mobileye breakup, Intel acquired Mobileye for $15.6 billion. So technically, Tesla don't have to partner with Mobileye. They just need to partner with Intel to access Mobileye's technology. Additionally, Tesla just started using Intel chips for its infotainment system. 
This might be a good segue for Tesla to get back together with Mobileye. It is at least favorable for Tesla to use Mobileye's cameras. Currently, Tesla uses Intel chips for infotainment and Nvidia chips for autonomous driving. So I won't be surprised if Tesla started using Intel chips for both of them. The second possibility is to double down on Nvidia, let the partner do the job. This is what Tesla is doing right now. Before Tesla Mobileye breakup, Tesla uses Mobileye's IQ3 chips and its computer vision technology for autonomous driving. Tesla subsequently changed to Nvidia's DrivePX2 chips and its own computer vision technology called Tesla Vision after the breakup. From a technology standpoint, DrivePX2 is more capable than IQ3. So currently, the problem with Tesla's autopilot is not with its chipset, but with the sensors and the software. This is why despite Tesla's autopilot lagging behind most of its competitors, it is still labeled as a challenger in the market. Tesla just need to work harder on autopilot. The last option is to partner with Waymo. This might be the best choice. Waymo is looking for an automaker. Tesla is looking for a reliable autonomous driving technology. The synergy is undeniable. However, Waymo uses a LiDAR-based system which requires Tesla to adopt LiDAR technologies if they want to work together. So this option would not realize if Tesla is not willing to compromise and start using LiDAR. Lastly, I want to pass the question to you guys, especially if you're a Tesla owner, what do you think of Autopilot? Are you satisfied with it? How much has it changed over the years? Let me know in the comment down below. If you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, hit that like button for more awesome content like this. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.